Hey, Mortgage Coach community, Dave Savage, and I am in San Diego, California, and I couldn't come here without seeing my buddy Sam Hansen. <laughs> Surprise That's visit, funny. awesome. Surprise visit. Yeah. So um, we're gonna try to bring back some ideas to you. Um, Sam, first, why don't you tell folks who haven't heard me interview you before a little bit about your mortgage practice and how much volume you guys are doing right now? Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, my team is called the Gaylord Hansen Mortgage Team. Um, we focus here in San Diego. We've actually expanded to Las Vegas and Phoenix, Arizona. Um, you know, historically we've helped 80 to 90 to 100 families a month sometimes. Right now it's it's more of, a, of, of like 50 to 60. So definitely a war out there and uh, we're fighting a good fight. So, you know, we love serving families. Uh, we love educating our borrowers and uh, we're doing it every day. Well, I, I love that. And the quote when you go by the Gaylord Hansen team, it's all about families, not files. So I, I, I love that. So, so what are the big challenges in the marketplace that might relate to the mortgage coach community? Yeah, the biggest challenge, uh, and it depends on the area, but in San Diego County, uh, the, the sale, the actual sales volume is, is down. It's down. Um, even though it's interesting that the inventory is rising. I mean, from the beginning of the year, uh, just keep throw out a quick couple numbers. The listings in San Diego County was about 4,100, you know, uh, plus or minus. Right now, at the beginning of September, there's over 8,000. So right away, like I'm talking to agents, we're like looking at the market, we're looking at inventory, we're looking at pricing, you know, what's going on? And uh, the, the challenge right now is the psychology of the buyer. Mm -hmm. The buyer is basically saying, I've had enough of these sellers bossing us around right and being being really strict on their requests for repairs and their, their pricing super above the you know a lot higher than the, the let, latest comps and so I think we're at a point where the buyer is basically saying enough is enough and uh, and they're pulling back you can tell yeah no I hear that all the time I hear you know the inventory I'm not hearing as the big issue but sales down and then because sales are down I'm just hearing price compression you know I mean oh, big yeah. banks credit unions, other lenders. So talk about how you're addressing that. You know, what are you, what are some of the ideas and strategies you're doing to win in this market? Yeah, so um, it kind of goes hand in hand with what I just talked about, but the price compression is definitely, I mean, everybody talks, you hear the buzzword of data is margin compression. So you hear about it, um, it's real. Uh, when I think of how much volume there was last year versus this year, there's 400, 500 billion less nationally of mm -hmm. loans funded. Right. But there's still all the same amount of people out there that want, want to originate the fund loans. So uh, what do you do to get them? You lower your price. Uh, so you need to bring other value propositions. You need to bring other unique selling propositions to your referral partners and your borrowers. And um, you know, when we're talking about, uh, you know, we've always talked about the cost of waiting analysis, but when you're putting their purchase price and they're really struggling paying that amount and you put them and you put the rate, you know, what if it went up three eighths and you lower that purchase price to get that payment the same? Now you're having a real conversation with that buyer and they're really getting some good information like, wow, I lose fifty thousand dollars in purchasing power if the rate goes up three eighths. And I'm I'm like, you know, really having a struggle over this fifteen thousand dollar that the seller wants too high. So, you know, we're not pushing them, we just need to inform them, let them go work with their agents with all the information, and that's our goal. So by the way, did you guys catch that? It's cost away analysis. Make sure that families understand that if rates go up at eight, a quarter, three eighths, a half, how that impacts them. And so I'm gonna put down below a cost of waiting analysis. Also, I've I've interviewed Sam many times. I'll put one of my favorite interviews down below. So if you really want to drill down on all the things that they're doing, what's another total cost analysis strategy? Because you guys, you know, you're legends in the mortgage coach community with how well you use our product, how well you deliver it. What's another idea and way to use yeah, this? Yeah, um, there's other, you know, obviously staying in front of your past clients is really an important thing right now. It's like people talk about consumer direct. I like to talk about community direct. Um, and, you know, families are growing. People, you know, running out of room, they need to move up. So we, we've always talked about a move up analysis. What does it look like if I did move up? How do I transfer the equity? Um, what's my payment change? A lot of people just make up a lot of fears in their head and when you actually show them quantifiable, objective, tangible information uh, through edge presentations, it, it really brings some clarity to the borrower and then they can make decisions. And that's really what we're saying to our real, realtor partners, like, hey, we will help you convert more leads to closings, and this is how. And when you show them, like if you get back after a, a real estate, a realtor meeting, and you send them a, 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 in five minutes, here's what I was talking about, 
you know, let me know if you have any questions. Like that's real, that's tangible, that's something you can really quantify, so. So guys, I got two takeaways there. I mean, let's face it, top mortgage professionals have always differentiated based off of execution and speed. Like I'm the fastest, I close transactions on time, keep my promises. By the way, everybody does that now. It's not the same unique differentiator that it was. So here what he's doing, they're, they're differentiating based off of conversion. I am your conversion partner, Realtor. And the speed that they're talking about is borrower, family is confused, the family's clear. You know, and, and if based off their assumptions of what's gonna happen in the market, it doesn't make sense to move up or it doesn't make sense to go from running to owning, then would you rather know that sooner or would you rather know that later? So think about it, the value they're bringing, hey, we give great execution, but you know what, we help families go from confusion to clarity faster than anybody in our market, and we help convert better than anybody in our market. Is that fair enough Oh, it's say? true, and it kind of ties back to, you know, there's all this operational support to close 500 billion more loans than what's being originated, so everybody's fast now. So right. saying, I mean, we closed a loan in eight days right now, 10 days, nine days, it's, you know, I pretty soon it will just be 10 day closings. I mean, we'll right. be clear to close in 10 days and it might be a 30 day escrow, but that's not a, a super good, unique selling proposition right now. Got it, so hopefully this is valuable to you. We've got a few links down below to a cost of waiting, to a um, move, up. move up analysis. We'll throw a rep versus own in there. I'm also gonna put my favorite interview from Sam. You'll see what it is. If you got value from this, give it a like, share it with your mortgage friends, and Sam, thank you, brother. Thank you. See All you right. guys. Take care, everybody.